the fingering in the right hand is really important not only to this bar but to the whole piece in general so as the rule of thumb the thumb is gonna play on the fifth and fourth strings and the index finger is playing on the third string and the middle finger is playing on the second string and the chord the chord here is A minor of course basically it's this pattern and it repeats itself four times Now, whenever a note is written in parentheses, it means you, you either don't have to play it, and if you do, don't play it loud. So you can avoid it altogether. I'm talking about the note in the parentheses. It's the third string, second fret. And again, here the thumb is going to play on the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings basically on the bass notes index finger on third string and middle finger sorry <laughs> on the second string I'm starting with A minor or I can avoid the note in the parentheses and just play like this again slower moving on to G to the second part of the bar. Now it's a G and you add a little decoration to it. You add the second string, first fret. Again. And the first beat of the third bar is the base of the next chord, which is C. So when you practice the second bar, practice, practice it until the first beat of the third bar. You leave the first finger, you leave it on the second string on the first fret. It's basically an anticipation note. It's this note belongs to the next chord. It belongs to C, but it comes before. It doesn't come on the third bar. It comes on the second bar. It it, it anticipates. Again, Again, a bit slower. Sorry, the last part goes like this. So here it gets a bit tricky. I start with a C chord. Now, the first fret on the first string, again, is it's an anticipation note. It's a note that comes before the chord that it belongs to. The chords on the third bar are C and D minor. But this note that belongs to D minor, it comes just a tad before the bass of D minor. playing the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notes of the third bar. Again. And in 
this bar and again the thumb plays the bass notes the fourth and fifth strings um, index finger on the second string this time middle finger on the first string now I'm continuing until the end of the bar so it's a D minor that turns into a D sus2 if you will I'm playing from this note so there are many many changes to the, this D minor and it doesn't stay steady it changes Now the next chord is an F major chord, the first chord of the fourth bar. Now at first, um, at first you play a sort of a F major sharp 11 or flat 5. So the fourth bar begins like this. But there's there's this note, the open uh, second string that still rings from the previous bar, from the third bar. I'm starting at the third bar. See it? that this note right here still rings. then I resolve it. This note is a dissonant. It wants to resolve to this note. This is the resolution. And the second chord of the fourth bar is a G. Again you decorate it with with this note, this time with a hammer on, then E minor, G, E minor. This note is an is an is a note that belongs to A minor and it anticipates. It comes one beat before the first the fifth bar. Again, third fourth and just the, f the first beat of the f fifth bar now when I play the F chord I use this fingering I use the thumb on the thick sixth string on the first fret here so that I can decorate it with the B string with the open B string the G I use the third finger in the bass you don't have to play this note of G because you don't play it E minor there you go fifth bar I played at the end I played this note which is the first note of the second bar after the fifth bar you return to the second bar there's a note in parenthesis this one you don't have to play it this is this is how it goes with it without it it's not that important either way if you play don't play it that loud so it's a minor G 
E minor. Again, we have an A minor chord. And then a G major. You have two notes that you don't have to play. This is how it sounds with them. This is without them. On the G, on the second part of the bar, I use the third finger on the bass, fourth finger on the first string, there's a pull off. Great. See? Now, this is where it gets I think this is the hardest part of the piece. Use your fourth finger on the second string, fourth finger, second string, eighth fret, third finger, seventh fret on the third string, and first finger on the fifth fret of the first string. Starts like this, and then pull off. Then it, the bass again. Then I move these two fingers from here to here. Then I change the second string to the first fret. leave this finger here because I go to an F chord G this part we played already so again It starts with A minor. Now this is a, is a G chord. You usually don't play a G like this. You can either play the whole notes together or like this, one by one. Pull off. 